We are basically uh, uh, solving fundamental problems in the space of natural language understanding. So language is how we as human beings communicate. Um, if you solve language, you've actually taught a machine how to think because it's a communication of thoughts. Um, it's more than just words or sentences. It's the ability to reason, to articulate what I'm thinking and pass that over to you. Um, a lot of our focus as a company is machine comprehension which is teaching a machine how to understand and read text. Another aspect is communication, which is being able to engage in a back and forth dialogue which is with a human being. There are a lot of questions about deep learning and artificial intelligence, um, especially from, let's say, the layman's perspective. What does that mean to me? I mean, when we think of artificial intelligence, we think of the Terminator scenario or her or whatever it may be. Um, but I think over the last couple of months, I'm seeing that people, I'm hoping also, um, that people are getting more of a firmer understanding of what artificial intelligence is, mm -hmm. um, more so of this idea of a sentimental being that I could interact with that builds a relationship with me that I can fall in love with, but yeah. more of the practical usefulness of what AI can do. What we'd like to see is a shift where human beings focus on more creative, difficult, and more, let's say, decision-making types of tasks, and almost delegate the monotonous work to machines. So if we've taught machines to deal with the clerical, monotonous, um, annoying or you know, cumbersome aspects of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, I think we can truly become productive um, as a human society. So it's really exciting to be working towards that agenda. One of the things that we're working on right now is teaching a machine to ingest and read product manuals or owner's manuals that could be hundreds of pages long. And with a simple question, the system would read through the whole document, ingest that information, reason against it, and provide you with a response. Um, if you solve that problem at scale, um, you've truly built something interesting. So. I'm pretty optimistic about the space and the direction that we're headed. And I'm super excited about the fact that Canada has been sort of the hub for artificial intelligence. And I think we have a responsibility to continue to push that forward. Um, and we're seeing aspects of that across different areas. And um, I'm so surprised in how far we've moved over the last year. And I'm pretty excited in terms of where we're going to be a year from now or even a couple of years from now. Yeah.